Let's go, and welcome back, everybody, to Doki Doki World of Dreams. Last episode, we had Siori react to the ending of Doki Doki Literature Club because we thought that that would be a great way to uh, cure her depression and also her jealousy. Two birds stoned at once, and uh, I think it worked well. I don't know, she looks fine. She's smiling, so that's worth something. And, uh, you know, of course, our work is not done yet because uh, the game's code is still hard coding. Uh, so you were to have a high depression stat. So we are now going to uh, work together and hopefully figure out how to uh, fix that. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much where we are. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, then. I'm going to grab Rar's laptop and then we can all get to work. Monica heads out and as she does, she returns to me. You know, you still didn't answer my question, though. W what question? Oh, please, not that one. Please, not that one. Do you love Monica? Oh, dear God, why do I have such bad luck? Yeah, why don't you tell us? Do you or do you not love Monica? I... Guys. Hmm? Come on, out with it, tough guy. Yeah, yeah, they're they're a perfect match for each other. Even their teasing is in sync. <sighs> I honestly couldn't give you a straight answer. Monica, she's one of the most amazing people I've ever met in my life. She's driven, talented, and quite handy with a keyboard, among other things. She's a great imposter player in Among Us. She's definitely beautiful. No doubt about that. Completely out of my league. Dude, that makes it sound like you're settling for Siori, Meiji. What the fuck? Oh, don't say that, Meiji. She'd be lucky to have you. But I don't want her. I want you. You're the only one woman for me. Alright, a little redemption there. Good shit, Meiji. Siori takes Meiji's hand and turns to me. Rar, for the record, I think you are in love with Monica. R really? How do you know? <laughs> well, I've been watching you the past week. And now that I know the truth, I really think you are in love with her. And after what I saw earlier with you sitting next to each other, I'm convinced. I know she loves you, but I think you do too. <sighs> I know Siori's more observant than she lets on in the game, but... For her to have been this observant, I must have worried her more than I thought. Damn. I didn't hide my familiarity with Monica as well as I should have. Still, this is Siori. She's a smart girl. Maybe she sees something that I'm too stupid to see. I mean, the only relationships I've ever seen is moms and dads. Seriously. Am I even worthy of Monica? God, imagine not knowing if you're worthy enough for a 2D anime girl. <laughs> I understand it, okay? I do. I feel the same way as well. You know, because when you think about it, it's like we're all just smelly nerds on our computers. We're looking at these cute anime girls and we're like, oh my god, that's my waifu, Siori, my waifu. If she came to the real world, my friend, <clears throat> I, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna pose the question. I'm just gonna give you the statement, and that is, she will not love you back. She will move on, she will find the Chad that treats her the way she wants to be treated, and uh, you will be left in the dust to continue to stare at the computer screen alone, hoping one day you could date a 2D anime girl. It's a rough realization, I know, but we must push forward. Let's go. Roar. <sighs> There's the motherly tone of hers again. I bet you're wondering if you're still worthy of Monica, right? <laughs> she a mind reader or what? Believe me, I'm struggling with the facts that I might not be worthy of Meiji. But the fact is that she loves me despite all of my, all of my many mistakes. It means that she's far more worthy than she thinks she is. Okay. He puts her arm around Siori. Okay. This may be sickeningly sweet to see, but I'm a sucker for sickeningly sweet stuff like this. 
I'm so happy for you too. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. You two have given me a lot to think about. So thank you. Monica comes back into the room just then. Here's your laptop. Oh, thanks. I sit down on the couch and Meiji sits next to me. Siori and Meiji head to the desktop. You guys ready? Uh, not really. Then let's begin. <laughs> okay. Mommy, Dommy, Monica. What are we doing? Deep dive? Mini game? What is this? Hours pass, and what little progress we make is pitiful, to say the least. It's not like we're coding experts. We can't really figure anything out from the online Python or MP tutorials. Yo, have you ever thought about searching up how to make a DDLC mod? It may do wonders for you, I'm just saying. You aren't even sure where to start. We try a few things, like alternating who leaves the room first, me or Meiji. It doesn't do anything except tell us that the pain lessens with each crossing of the threshold. Okay, so we're not trying to fix Yuri's depression stat right now. We're actually trying to figure out how to keep me and Meiji separated. Because again, no normally, right now, this is the only room that, you know, me and the main character can be separated from each other. Once we leave this room and go back into, like, you know, the real world of DDLC, you know, the classroom, our house, etc. are fused back together with this man, and I control his body, and he's inside of my brain. So, well, his brain, you know what I mean. It's kind of, it's just a weird way to, like, word it, so I just word it that way. It's simpler, even though it doesn't make full sense. <laughs> but, uh, okay, um, yeah, I, d I don't know how we would fix this. Hmm. While Meiji and I are fused, Monica tries to opening our character files, but even that tells us next to nothing as the code's pretty much gibberish. We even contemplate creating a new file that can execute a separation program of some sort, but we can't even come to an agreement on where to even begin. However, we do discover something useful. I'm not sure how, but Monica is able to permanently edit Siri's depression and make a more diminished state. Oh, well, okay. Sure. That's wonderful. I, I thought this was going to be like a huge thing we're going to figure out, but just... Okay. Joey's cured. Let's go. Monica even offers to get rid of it outright, but Siori says no. It's interesting. Guess she wants to work on her depression on her own terms. It would also like totally make you feel like not a human being anymore. I mean, again, are, are these dokies real people? You know, I don't know. But they didn't understand that they were game characters until literally right now. So being able to just, like, edit stuff like that, I don't know, man. I understand why Siori wouldn't want to do anything like that. Because it would, it, it would, like, I don't know, just fully convince you that you are not what you thought you were, you know? I feel like right now there's almost, like, a little bit of, like, a stage of denial. Some, some questioning still on Siori's side. But this would be, like, the nail in the coffin, you know? She asks Monica to put it back to where it normally is for her. Monica locks Siori's character file, then, in a move presumably to try and earn back Siori's trust, lets Siori choose a password for her file. After putting the password in and confirming it, she whispers the password to Meiji. Monica tells us that she hopes this would keep the game from being able to influence her depression. Well, now I'm like, but if Meiji knows, like... Even if Siori knows, like, all you gotta go, all you gotta do is, like, go into Siori's character file, right? And then just, like, pull out the, the brain data of the password, you know? Oh, wait, no, we just said we locked, hold on, I'm, I, I am dumb now. Um, Siori's file is locked. So, yeah, that's fine, then. Siori knows it, lock it. Nobody will know. Now that we tell Meiji, we gotta lock his, and then he's gotta create a password, and then Meiji's gonna tell me his password, and then we gotta lock mine, and then I gotta make a password, and then I'm gonna tell Monica, and then Monica's gonna lock hers, and then she's gonna tell her password to... I don't know who. Maybe it stops there. <laughs> Sorry, Yuri. Get fucked. You're not involved here. Or Natsuki. God, I miss them. They still, they, again, they still have no idea about all of this shit going on so 
I'm curious to see if they're ever going to, like, fully get in the know. Finally, Meiji looks at his phone. Crap, it's getting late. We should get ready for tomorrow. Oh my god, the freaking school festival is tomorrow. Oh my god, dude, there's too much going on right now. Whoa, you're right. She heads to the door and steps through, followed by Monica. Meiji and I look at each other, sigh, and then head through. Hopefully, is, is that normal? Why does everyone look sad? <sighs> Probably just because we're fused back together, which does suck a lot for both parties here, you know. Siori loves Meiji, Monica loves me. Now we're just this shitty amalgamation, and it's like, it kills the boner, the love boner, you know what I mean? A true love triangle, man. Place my hand on the wall as Monica closes and locks the door, causing the door to glitch and sputter a bit as it becomes a regular door. Siori walks over and rubs my back gently as I regain my bearings after re-emerging with Meiji. Roar, Meiji, are you two all right? Am I... I am? Uh, Meiji? Same here. He's fine. Didn't hurt as much as last time. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're both all right. Thanks, you too. Sior, you want me to walk you home? Oh no, it's fine. Well, why don't I walk you home then? No, really, it's fine. Uh, at least let me walk you to the door then. Okay, Roar. Monica and I both, both walk with Seaward to the door. Well, um, today's been, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's been... Yeah. There's a palpable silence for a while between the four of us. No one knows what to say or do next. Finally, after what seems like a good few minutes, Monica speaks up. Siori, again... I'm sorry about everything. It's okay, Moni. I feel a lot better now that I've been through this past week. How can you be so forgiving? Siori, I did so many awful things to you in the game. I'm a monster. Even in your dreams, you pictured me as Satan. Because I am. I... Siori heads over and hugs Monica close. I don't see you like that, and you know it. I'm not going anywhere, I'm right here. She motions over to me, and I walk over and put a gentle hand on Monica's shoulder. Thank you. That means a lot to us. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's time to go. I'll see you all tomorrow, though. Yeah, see you then. See you later. See you tomorrow, Siori. I love you. Smiling wildly, I gladly repeat this to Siori. Love you too, Meiji. And with that, the blushing bun grabs her umbrella, puts on her shoes, and heads out. Monica and I both head into the living room. Roar. Hmm? Mind if I crash? I'm beat. Go for it. Thanks. And he's out again. Damn. I gotta learn his secret. How the hell does he fall asleep so fast? And also, by the way, you think what I'm thinking? Like, now we have no conflictions, just me and Monica alone, no Meiji. Kind of just confessed our love to each other. Basically kissed last episode. Cuddling up. On the couch. Come on, man. He's asleep. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is. Perfect. Rar, can I talk to you? Sure, that, that's fine with me. Monica takes my arm and leads me to the couch. She pulls me down next to her and looks at me seriously. Huh. Something... Looks like something's weighing on her mind a bit. Rar, I overheard your conversation with Meiji and Siori earlier. 
I can't think of anything else to say because, in all honesty, there isn't anything to say. Monica leans closer to me. Do you really think... Do you really think that you're not good enough? Monica sounds hurt. Damn. Now I feel guilty. Monica, I... If anything, I'm not good enough for you. I'm prone to insane jealousy. Shouldn't that be a red flag? I reach over and put an arm over her shoulder. Normally, yes. But I know you better than that. I know you're trying to work through it. She looks down at her lap. I am, but it isn't easy. My mind keeps telling me that I don't deserve you, but I still... Suddenly she pounces on me. We both tumble back, me landing on my back, and she landing on top of me. I still want you. Her voice is soft and sincere. I can't stop loving you, no matter what stupid things you do. And normally I'd be flustered at being in this position with such a beautiful woman, but something tells me she isn't going to try anything. I try and choose my words carefully. I reach up and run a comforting hand through her hair. I care about you too. I don't want to see you hurting like this. It makes me feel like, well, it makes me want to protect you. Monica giggles and then sits back up, still straddling my lap. Protect me, huh? Is that a problem? <laughs> no, just never pictured myself as the damsel in distress type. <laughs> never said you were. I sit up. You're plenty strong, and I'm sure you have some form of fighting experience as well. <laughs> yeah, I've taken a few martial art classes. I'm sure I could beat your ass in a fight. Uh, no doubt in my mind. Oh, you're no fun. You're supposed to say that's a lie and that you can take me down. We both look at each other for a bit, and then we both break out in a loud laugh. Just then, I hear the front door opening. We're home. Oh, no! Oh! Mom! Mom, why? Mom, 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 why? Minako, oh my god. I can't, I can't, I can't. I was so sucked into this goddamn mod. It was no longer a mod, it was a lifestyle. It was a lived experience. I was inside of the game. And then you suck me right out. Oh god. Monok and I look down at ourselves and find we're still in a very compromising position. I love Shark Teeth Monica, by the way. <laughs> God, I love it. We both quickly scramble off each other just as Meiji's parents both come in. Oh, hey, you two. You still up? Oh, uh, hey, Mom. We were just uh, um, talking about what happened yesterday. And what happened? Uh, today was pretty busy. The club all went over to Ori's place for a little bit, and uh, we worked on the festival. Oh, and that reminds me, next couple of days, the club's gonna meet to work on some things, so is it okay if they meet here? Okay, sorry. Earlier I said the festival was, um, tomorrow. Never mind, tomorrow's just a working day for the festival. So I think it's like two days for the festival, or three? Still, craziness. Four girls in the house alone with you, Meiji. Minako, don't worry about it. We'll be home tomorrow at least, remember? Yeah, I know. Wait, I thought you were out tomorrow visiting Aiko. No, we're gonna do that on Sunday. No, oh, okay. Still though, I don't like the idea of you being alone with the girls on Sunday. Maybe I should ask Saiko to watch over you guys. Sweetie, there's no need for her to come over. Meiji's not that kind of kid anymore. Uh, Jesus-san, I swear that nothing like that will happen. All we're going to be doing is baking cupcakes that day, and that's it. Good. If anyone can keep watch over her, it's her. Over you, it's her. Oh, <laughs> Monica snickers a bit. That was almost like a mother's approval right there. Mom, I'm not a kid anymore. He really isn't, dear. That being said, don't do anything like that towards them, okay? I would never do anything like that towards them. Though, like, I feel like if I'm not a kid anymore, 
I should. So I feel like there's a little bit of like conflict of interest here. I feel like to prove that I, I am an adult, I should be sexing up Monica on the spot right now! With a condom, of course, because I'm not a kid anymore. Mom? Um, uh, I know you wouldn't. Now your mom and I are going to bed. It's been a long day, judging from how tired you look, and I imagine you're both exhausted too. Or they're exhausted, I'm exhausted. I don't know, dude. Who cares about freaking dad's dialogue? Get out of here! I don't even remember your voice, bro. It's been so long since I've seen you. Dad, why are you not in my life anymore? By the way, why are these club members coming over tomorrow? I, uh, uh, when? Sorry, around 10. Good, I look forward to meeting them all. Oh dear, that's not gonna be good. Meiji's parents head upstairs. That went, um, better than I expected, I, I guess. <laughs> no shit. But she's right, we should go to bed. Well, today's been exhausting, to say the least. Well then, good night, Rar. I love you. <sighs> you. You can't just say that and scurry away, Monica. God damn it, you're stealing my heart one day at a time. Or like one minute at a time. I just, I'm falling deeper and deeper in love every second that passes by of every day. And with that, she goes to her temporary room, making no effort to hide the sway of her hips as she disappears upstairs. Are you kidding me? Damn, that woman is foxy as hell. <laughs> I head upstairs. I don't understand, like, why... It, I remember, like, when I was younger... Well, okay, I want to preface this by the fact that, like, there, there is... You can have, like, an... You can intentionally do it and exaggerate it, for sure. But when I was younger, I thought when women walked, like, the way, like, their, you know... Their hips sway back and forth... I thought that that was like a thing they were doing on purpose. Like every time they're like, ooh, 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 ooh. Little did I know later on, it's just like, that's like just how your like butt moves like when you take steps. <laughs> Again, you can like amplify it if you want and, and make a more seductive walk. But yeah, I was like, man, dude. Like I was in middle school. And I'm just like, how do all these women know how to like shake their ass like this? Like how do they sway? Like what? It was blowing my mind. I thought it was like an art form. Anyway. Oh man, it's been such a long day. I get out of the uniform and drape it over the desk chair. Oh dude, that is the absolute classic. Too clean to wash, too dirty to hang up. The classic. After changing to some pajamas, I collapse on a bed. Sleep. Sleep. Saturday, October 28, 2017. Meiji, Meiji, wake up, sweetie. It's time to get up. Oh, oh five more minutes, mom. Still half asleep, I cover my face with a blanket as someone gently shakes me. Siri, do it. The heavy mass lands on my stomach. <coughs> Wake up, sleepyhead! Sigori looks proud of herself as she sits on top of me, giggling. Meiji's mom giggling at my predicament as well. You could have killed me, woman! Really? You guys? Really? Well, you wouldn't get up, sweetie. Besides, it isn't the first time Sigori's done this, remember? Mm, yeah, mom's right. Feel Meiji beginning to wake up now, too. Of course she did. I sit up and stretch, grateful I'm actually wearing something. Well, I'm up. Uh, could you please get off me now? <laughs> Sorry. I just miss doing it is all. Yeah, well, see where you also weigh like 10 times, you know, more than you did as a three-year-old child. I'm telling you, death is approaching. Sure, he gets off me. I look behind me out of the window. Well, at least it's not raining today, thank God. Yeah, no joke there. Today was crazy. Uh, where'd that storm come from, anyway? Guess it's our first taste of autumn. Oh, I love autumn! Especially Halloween! Yo! Halloween special? World of Dreams? Is that coming? Is that coming? Is that coming? That's this Tuesday, you know. Oh, or it's like now, basically. Holy shit, I didn't realize. 
I think Monica has some plans for that. Oh, really? I can't wait to see. It's nice seeing Monica planning ahead after the festival. I guess she's starting to come to terms with what's going on and is, you know, trying to live with the world instead of trying to manipulate it. Wait, did we just say that out loud? <laughs> Again, I know that, like... It, it, it's just sussy to say that out loud because we know that, like... Monica literally manipulates this world through coding. But, you know, in conversation, it's like, oh, yeah, you know. Shouldn't fight, shouldn't fight the wave so much. Gotta go with it, you know? You can't build your life perfectly like that, you know? Gotta go with the flow. Uh, what time is it, by the way? I'll reach over to grab Meiji's phone and look. It's 9.22 a.m. Oh, damn, I gotta shower, dress, and have breakfast. The others are coming over soon. Language, Meiji. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, Mom, sure. Like what? Is because Shiori's a child, I can't freaking say this out loud? Treat her with some goddamn dignity and respect! I begin rummaging through the closet and grab some new clothes. Oh, also, good morning, you two, by the way. Sorry for not saying that earlier. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We're actually the ones who were surprised, uh, who surprised you. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Better hurry, Meiji. There's quite a feast being down there, uh, being made down there. Uh, yeah, we'll do. Meiji's mom just keeps switching between, like, Kotonoa, Siori, and Monika. It's just, like, jumping all between. I'm just like, fucking hurry up these lines, dude. I don't care about you. I just don't. Um, I head downstairs and hop into the shower. After I finish, I get dressed, leaving the dirty clothes in a basket near the washing machine. 